Okay, today for this drawing, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the last of the single view drawings, the gasket. And this drawing, you have to use all your knowledge from all the ones before because it's the trickiest one of them all. And the hardest part, the only really new thing you have to learn is how to do these fillets. And I'll show you how to do that. They're not too bad. So let's get started here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the center of our paper. So we're going to do our little flipper T-square over, find the center by marking an X. Again, really lightly, construction lines, just like we've done for all the other ones. Then I'm going to draw my horizontal and vertical center lines, really lightly, construction lines. T-square and triangle for this one. Okay, now let's lay out this box here in the middle. So it says it's four and one fourth wide, which is two and one eighth for half of it. Two and seven eighths tall, which is one and seven sixteenths for halfway. So let's do two and one eighth. We're going to do that to the left. So two and two sixteenths, make a little mark. And same thing going to the right, two and two sixteenths. Make a little mark. And I'm just going to draw these in as light construction lines for right now. And then I'm going to do 1 and 7 sixteenths up and down. So 1 and 7 sixteenths. 1 and 7 sixteenths. Use my T-square. Bring those across. Again, light lines, construction lines, we don't know what to darken yet. Okay, now that we have our outline of it, we need to round these corners. So it says it has a radius of one-fourth. I'm going to use the circle template to do this. So I have to double one-fourth, and that means a half-inch diameter, because we need diameter for our circle template. So I'm going to take my circle template, and this can be a little bit tricky, so you got to pay close attention of where you're putting your circle template. And I'm going to line my circle template so that it just touches both lines. If anything, just overlaps them just a little bit. And I'm going to draw in a half circle, so I'm going to go from mark to mark. Like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I want to just overlap each line. you got to pay close attention that you get it lined up just right. Now I've got my two fillets in the corners. I'll connect the bottom here. Then I'm going to do the upper ones. Again, this is a really easy part to mess up, so you got to really make sure that you're on the money with your marks. There's that one. There's that one. Use my T-square. We're going to darken now. That one darkened in. My T-square and triangle together. Darken that in. Just like that. Okay. We have the center part put in. Now, let's put in all our circles right here. We're going to put in these six circles. It tells you that they're two and a half inches away from the center line, and they're two inches in this direction. So let's do our vertical first. I'm going to measure up two inches. And then for my center line, I'm going to measure down two inches and put that in as construction lines. Then I'm going to do my two and a half left and right. I'm going to put it right on my horizontal center line, two and a half. Mark it. Two and a half. Mark it. Try 
grab that up. Again, light construction lines. Now, where do the circles go? Well, we have one here in the center, right here, right here, and then out here at these construction lines that are just outside my box. If we look, they have a half inch diameter. So we can use our circle template with our half inch. Just make sure you're on your right construction lines. Line all four marks up of your circle template. We're going to draw each one in. Taking our time to make sure you line them all up. And we're on our correct marks. There's the top three. And now the bottom three. There we have all six holes laid in. Now we need to get the ones that are out here. And the only thing we need to know is that they're three and a half inches from the center line. So I'm just going to measure from my center out on my horizontal mark, three and a half. Make a little mark. Repeat it on the other side, three and a half from the center over. Just gonna extend them up a little bit so I can use my circle template. Just nice light construction lines. I'm gonna use a half inch circle on my circle template again and draw them in. That's one. There's the other one. Now to get the border around the outside, you're going to kind of do it like you did on the key plate. We know this radius out here is one half inch radius. So we're going to put the, each one of those in the corners and then we'll connect them. Then we'll come back and we'll add these parts in afterwards. So if I'm going to use my circle template for this, I got to double that. So we're going to have a one inch diameter. Take my circle template, one inch diameter, set it right on there, make sure everything's lined up, and I'm going to draw my arc, quarter circle here. There's that one. Cool. There's that one. And again, which ones am I lining them up with? I'm lining it up with the circles that are already there. They are co-centric. They have the same center point. So this little arc is the same center point as that one. You don't need one in the middle. Take my time. Make sure everything lines up nice. Makes a big difference. There. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect them with my square. I can darken this line here in the bottom and I can darken the line on the top. Now I'm going to draw this line in but I'm going to do it lightly because some of it's going to get erased. Like that, just lightly because some of it's going to get erased. Now this is the trickiest part of this drawing. We're going to put these curves in and then a curve around here. But we're going to start with this outer one. We're going to draw half a circle. And it has that same one inch diameter. It says half inch radius, but again that's one inch diameter because we're using our circle template. 
So I'm going to find my one inch, set it right on there, line it up really well. Don't want to have it misaligned in this case, it'll mess you up. Draw it right around like that. Do the other side while we're right here. Line it up really well. There we go. Now, to get this curved part back, what we're going to do is we're going to use our circle template again. Same one inch diameter because that's the radius, so we're going to convert it to diameter. And we're going to kind of do it by eye. I want to keep this center little dot or mark on my circle template right on that line. And sometimes it helps if you extend it out. I'm just going to kind of do it by eye. And I want my circle to just touch this arc right here and then curve back to my other line. So I'm just going to line it up as best I can by eye. And you really got to kind of watch it. Make sure you don't get off. It's really easy to get off. Again, I'm going to keep that little dot lined up on my center line. And I'm going to line up my circle and line it up with this edge over here and draw in my little arc. Then I can erase in between. And then darken these little sections right here. Let's do the same thing on the other side. One inch diameter circle again. We're going to line our center line up. We're going to slide it up till it just reaches right here. And we're going to go right up to it like that. Same thing on the bottom. And if you line everything up just right, you won't notice any weird marks. It'll line up. It won't be off a little bit. So sometimes it could take you a couple tries. Just really take your time and line it up perfectly. And then I'm going to darken. And I'm going to go down to my title block, draw in my construction lines down here to write in. And we don't write right on the title block. This one is called gasket. Your name. Scales one to one. We just drew it with a regular ruler. Date. This one's drawing number. DWG number six. And that's it for the gasket.